Hello, guys. Welcome back. Uh, we're going to build a convolutional neural network from the data set Wolves versus Dogs. Okay, guys, since there's only one folder, you're going to have to make a validation split. And uh, the reason why you want to make it 30 instead of 20 is so there's more pictures. And then you're going to do uh, class mode binary and subset. Training and validation. Target size 384. Okay, guys, we're going to do what we did last time, but we're going to add one more convolution. Remember, dense one, dense one at the end. Only thing different from last time is, of course, same as last time is 128 with a kernel size of 3 and 3 instead of 5 and 5. Max pooling, same. Same, same, same as last time. 16, but 2, 2. And then the pull size, 2, 2, but a stride of 1 instead of strides of 2 on the other max pulling layers. Activation equals sigmoid. Same. Look at the shape, guys. Less parameters, but that's okay. At least we have zero non-trainable params. Okay, guys, um, originally I did uh, 15 epochs, but I had to add five more epochs. And it did pretty well, even though it had high validation loss. Look, 95.7% chance dog, 4.3% chance wolf, this golden retriever. And now as for this wolf, 7% chance dog, 92% chance wolf. And as for this Rottweiler, 99.98% chance dog and 0.2% chance wolf. Now you would think the reason why that this would uh, be more closer to a wolf than this and by logic, but... The reason why is because the hair, the long hair on this. Also, the Rottweiler has a different shape muzzle. That's why. You notice the dimensionality of the photos because when we're training it to look for patterns in this neural network, convolutional neural network, that's what we're doing. Especially with the max pulling layers. Those helps with overfitting. Because look, we only got 1,400 images. And then we got 600 uh, validation images. Now, this would be a lot better if we had more. Um... Now, I taught you guys how to, since there's only one folder, how to make a training and validation folder with this. This right here in horizontal flip all equals true always. That is for data augmentation. Okay, guys. Feel free to make your own model. See you next time.